Did you uh, get to I, see I, Joe? I, like, there's, I didn't see him, to be fair. Right. I didn't, right? And not... Uh, not for want of interest, I, you know, as the president of the United States is coming to Ireland, like yes. it's got to be a big deal for a lot of people, right? And a lot of people sort of had their hairs up on their back for sorts. Yeah. Um, what would your what, what would your thought of opinions of Joe coming over here? Well, I, I don't. A lot of people did have their backs up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he was coming over for, and I don't know how popular he actually is. Agree. I, I think the reason that uh, forty-seven, I think uh, what the like forty-seven million Irish people emigrated to America. Do you think he yes. maybe one of their votes for going for the second term? Well, I would imagine he was coming over because it's the twenty-fifth uh, anniversary of uh, of the peace process. I that was massively the reason. Yes, yes, but I don't but, know how popular but, that is in the south. I don't mean well, the peace well, process. Well, I mean, well, I mean him well, coming I, over. I, I, I know all Ireland and all politics and all. Let's get away from Ireland for a wee second, right? Yeah. Do you, Do you think that he would be capable of running for having another term in office in no. America? I don't know whether. No. It, I, I, I think he's struggling with this one. I think if the Americans have any sense at all, their next president will be Donald Trump again. I will agree with you on that. You know, I think if there's any sense, that's the route they should go down. Because America is in a big load of trouble right now. And a lot of it has been uh, poor quality management from the top. And when Trump was there, they had no war. They could afford power, gas. The dollar had some value, etc., etc. I agree with you massively. You know, and I think, and I think, had Trump come over to Ireland, Islander would have been in raptures and welcomed him with open arms. Mikey, you're not too. Do you know what? You're a very, very smart man. Well, you're very kind, Sean. So are you. Yeah, I'm so glad you rang in because we'd one or two dafties that don't understand the value of a phone-in program. And then we got yourself. The reason for a phone-in conversation, all the ones that are actually listening, is to actually try and sort of have a conversation, not be anything rude. You know what I mean? Your, your parents probably brought you up better than being rude. Absolutely. So don't go on to a phone call.